Good evening, everyone. Uh, hope everyone is having a great day and hopefully a great week and an even better weekend. It's been a while since I've put up a video and uh, there's a reason for that. Uh, as uh, my subscribers know, I do uh, lots of hiking uh, in and around Shenandoah National Park. But as of late, uh, you know, we've had bad weather uh, where I live, uh, it's a drive going up into the mountains and it's just not safe uh, driving uh, in snow and in icy weather conditions. So I just don't do it. In all of 2020 and all of 2021, my international travel plans were delayed because of the global health crisis, travel restrictions, just making it uh, difficult to travel into those lands that uh, I want to go into. Now that we're in 2022, travel restrictions uh, have eased quite a bit in uh, the country in which I'm going to be traveling and going into in a few months. And I'm going to bring you that uh, adventure. I'm really looking forward to getting down there. Down there, that's a hint. And many of you may know where this is, but for those who don't, I'm going to leave you with some intrigue. It's a great place. It's a wonderful place. And um, I'll be down there for almost two weeks. And I also have another trip planned in 2022. I don't know if that's going to pan out because there's just so much that I want to do in 2022, but that's definitely on the books. And if I can get there, I'll get there. Another complication that has uh, prevented me from getting out on the trail next to all the snow we've been having as of late has been a nagging uh, physical problem in my left foot. Uh, it's just off and on and it goes way back to a basketball injury that I developed in that country in which I'm going back into in a few months. I played lots of uh, basketball down there on a semi-pro level. It's like it, it's come back to haunt me and when I, and it's like it comes, it's off and on. It causes some discomfort, it causes some, uh, some pain at times. I'm not taking anything for it because it, it's there and then it goes away. It could be the last hiking trip that I did up in the uh, Shenandoahs. Uh, in the Virginia Triple Crown, I don't know. But after that long hike, I felt just fine. Uh, now, I did have a uh, a foot issue at the bottom of my soles toward the heel end on that very same leg. Uh, but that, within a week or so, went away. It, it was just sore. And I attribute that to just uh, my hiking boots. I should have wore another pair. But uh, it's just it's that nagging pain and it's not bad, but it's off and on. It doesn't prevent me from getting out and walking around. I look normal, I'm not limping, I'm not walking with a cane or anything like that. But it is something of concern because if it doesn't get better, then I have to go to a doctor uh, to see what's going on. And it could be something very simple, which I believe that it is because uh, I feel great. I'm in very good health. And that's the only thing that's really prevented me from getting back out on the trail. I don't want to aggravate it until I'm sure what's going on with it. So I'm out on this beautiful day and looking around me, most if not all the snow is gone. Looks like a, a fall day down here today. Now the temperature is about uh, 35 degrees, so it is cool. I don't mind that. I don't mind hiking in this type of weather when it's cool like this. Uh, the last thing I want to talk about is my channel. You're going to be seeing a name change in the next uh, few days, probably by the weekend or Monday of next week. And um, I won't tell you what the name change is right now. I'm going back and forth between two different names. Now, right now you see Moadib is the channel name. And uh, Moadib was the name that I chose for the channel way back then. 
because uh, I've read several times the uh, Frank Herbert's uh, book, Doom, and Moa Deeb is one of the uh, characters in that book. And also, you may have seen on television, there's a TV series, and even before that, there's a movie called Doom, and as of late, there is a uh, part one of the movie Doom. And I watched that, and it was nice. And I'm looking forward to uh, part two. When it comes out, I don't know when, maybe this year or the following year, I don't know. But uh, I'm going to change the uh, channel name and the mission statement. The mission's gonna be the same. Travel, adventure. Now I should add too that uh, with my international travel, travels that I have uh, on the books, one is definitely certain it's already paid for and that's, that's gonna happen. Um, the second one, not so much because uh, I'm still waiting for travel restrictions in that country to either lighten up or there's more guidance with regards not just that country, but going through the countries to get there. That's something else you have to consider. But I am an experienced traveler, uh, not only from the days of being in the Air Force, where I've traveled to many countries, but also uh, the job I had uh, when I worked uh, within the federal government based out of Washington, D.C., and also being in the Foreign Service. I've traveled uh, to many countries, lived in uh, several. I've uh, been to uh, Philippines many times, spent many months in the Philippines, many trips there in um, Tanang, Manila, San Fernando, Oporo Point, Thailand, up at Udon Thani, spent lots of time in Bangkok, Ayutthaya. I've uh, lived there for three years. Sri Lanka, spent many months there. Tanger, Morocco, many months there. Sao Tome e Principe in Africa, lived there for three years, lived and worked there for three years. I spent uh, a lot of time, many months in Greece, several places in Greece. Uh, Kavala was one place, other place in Greece was uh, Rhodes, Rhodos. I think I mentioned Sri Lanka, lived a year in Iceland. I've been to Greenland, lived in Panama for three years. I've been to Honduras uh, for several weeks, Ecuador. Spent uh, about three weeks in Mongolia. And there's so many places. So uh, international travel is not something new to me. Uh, it's easy for me to navigate through air terminals and all the uh, logistics that go with it. So I'm looking forward to getting back on the road, so to speak. Hopefully the travel gods will uh, see my way clear so these things will happen. Because I really do enjoy uh, international travel and bringing uh, that uh, you okay so i'll leave it right here and i will talk at you guys next week so in the meantime please take care of yourselves